Hi everyone, this is Phil at straightjackerproductions.com broadcasting to you from the geek room deep within the heart of a Borg cube. And today I'm going to showcase my new sticker kit. Uh, this is an aftermarket custom upgrade for Piranha. Um, I'm excited. Uh, there's quite a few cool little stickers to go on this one. So um, rejoin me in a minute. Obviously this junker is in not very good condition so I'm going to have to give it a clean and then we're going to start applying them and I'll showcase the new kit that you can buy. Thanks very much. Okay guys, uh, this is my Piranha cleaned up. Um, so yeah, there's a little bit of discoloration on it. I'm not sure there's much I can really do about that. Hopefully it'll be less obvious with the new stickers on. So it's all intact, it's all there, apart from Sly's uh, off. I'm not sure where he's gone for a quick point. So let's have a quick look at the new Piranha kit I've designed for this. Let's uh, see if you can get a look at it. Okay, so you've got your full redraws and beautiful bright colours of the original stickers. If they didn't fit before, they will now. Uh, it's a slightly, it's, you know, I've remeasured it basically. And you've got some extra ones. So uh, you've got, crucially, and, and actually this is, I think, what might transform the vehicle the most from stock, is, is actually the bike and the sidecar both have front lights. Uh, so actually I've created the stickers to go over those. It always bugged me that there wasn't controls in the submarine for Sly to actually try and, you know, do his dastardly deeds with. So I've actually got two, if I can show you, two small control panels, that's upside down, they're this way around, and they will go on the sides, and if you look carefully you've got teeny tiny little handlebars there, or control panels that he would be able to uh, get readouts and actually pilot the submarine with. You've got some new details for the bike as well. Uh, you've got a little tiny rear light to go on this piece, that's at the top there. You've got two little uh, new control panel which just goes on the centre cowling there. And you've got two tiny little piranha fishies, they're, they're really tiny, you can see how big my finger is compared to that, but they are to go on the side of the fuel tank. And you've got your standard Venom stickers to go on the fins, your, uh, your, uh, your redrawn boosters to go on the back and uh, your lights for the back of this piece and one more and that is this one which is, is similar to Gator in that how does the submarine reconnect to the abandoned bike once it's been fired into the sea if he wants to come back he needs to pull it back in so Piranha it seemed to me makes sense to be fitted with a uh, electromagnetic winch that uh, would be fired by remote come out of here, fire like a, a thing attached to somewhere on the back of this submarine here and it would be pulled back in to sit firm inside. So super excited to see this little guy transformed considering he was a bit of a junker in the first place. I'm going to place these stickers and then rejoin me in a minute and we'll have a look at the vehicle with, with them all on. Okay guys, well here it is. Uh, this is Piranha with the Ultimate Upgrade Kit applied. As you can see, it's a pretty faithful recreation. There's a couple of nice little details though. There's the brake light on the back of the bike. If I take Sly off, oops. <clears throat> you've got a little control panel under there on the bike. You've got your little Piranha stickers on the side. And if you look inside, you've got control panels for the sub both sides. I hope you can pick that up. And then if I release the... you've got your little magnetic winch and your little venom stickers on the side. I think it's cool. I like the lights. I hope you do too. Let me know what you think in the comments guys.